Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Webby Ketchup, and welcome to the first episode of my new 1.20 Let's Play series. So we spawned on a tree, which is great. Also, you'll notice I have this little resource pack that makes the birch trees pink, which I think is really cool because I plan on basing in a dark oak forest. So yeah, I really want to make sure that I can have that pink in my world because as you guys know, if this isn't your first time watching, I love the color pink and my last world was based in a cherry girl biome and I felt like I was going to miss the pink trees so I decided to give myself just a little bit of pink and make the birch leaves pink which I think is so cool except for I guess this birch tree oh no it's just in with an oak tree all right crafting table acquired and let's make some sticks just a couple to then make ourselves our very own wooden pickaxe, which is super cool. Um, if you guys remember from my last series, I absolutely hate wooden tools. So we are just gonna go straight to the stone. So hopefully I can find some easily accessible stone here because I don't like using uh, wooden tools. And while we're here, we might as well uh, kill some sheep. I'm sorry. Okay, looks good so far. Let's uh, let's get some stone. This looks like a very perfect place for some stone. Oh, never mind. That is not a perfect place for stone. Um, I will not be going in there. Um, let's just make a stone pickaxe really quick, so I don't have to deal with this wooden one for any longer than I want to. And oh, I already see spiders and bad guys. So yikes. Let's just stay away from that. And ooh. Look at that. How lucky am I? I really don't want to break into this cave though, so I am being very, very careful. Oh, and I'm breaking into the cave. Oh, geez. That is not very cool at all. I am going to be very careful right now. Okay, let's stay away from there and just kind of start going this way and just getting some stone. And let's make a couple more sticks so that we can... uh make the rest of our tools. So let's get an ax going. Let's get a shove. Oh my God, no, why did I do that? That was such a dumb mistake. Oh no. Okay, well, I have a lot of shovels. I'm probably gonna need that much anyways. Um, let's also make a sword. And you know what? While we're at it, we might as well just like make the bed now so I don't have to worry about it later. Okay, there is a savanna, and I have honestly never really gotten acacia wood. Wait, and there's a village. Okay, village first, acacia wood second, which... Uh, wow. Oh my god, there's already a cat. Okay, yep, I... Oh, two cats. There's two cats. Okay, yep, I am definitely gonna need that. This is so lucky. Oh, yep, I... You know what? Let's make a hoe. Let's make a hoe. You know what? At least for now, I have a reliable food source. Let's let's take this though, because why not? Oh, and I'm already in a hole. I have been here three minutes and I'm already in a hole. This is great. Anything? Nope. There is a lectern here, so I will be sealing this and all of your bookshelves. Thank you, sir. Still no chest though, but that's all right. Chest in here. Nope. Also, I will be taking the bell. Thank you. Let's collect some of these crops and some flowers and then we will be on our way. I really wish I didn't make all these shovels because uh, <laughs> they're taking up a lot of inventory space. So honestly, let's just throw them down here. And now that we're here, let's just get a little bit of acacia wood and hope a sapling drops. There is a ruined portal over there, which could be pretty cool. So we might have to go check that out. Okay, got a sapling or two. So let's go check out this ruined portal before we continue on our way. And we spawned really close to a mesa, which is honestly pretty cool because I think those are like kind of rare. So, wow, wow. Okay, um, you know what? We might as well just like put them on but mending gold boots honestly 
I think I've got my uh, my nether boots right here already, so it's pretty cool. All right, let's keep walking. And while I'm here, I might as well get some of these cactuses and then also all of the sugar cane. I might as well get some sand while I'm here because I'm definitely gonna need some glass and there's just a plethora of sand here, so I might as well take it. And also my inventory is already full, so I'm gonna need to get rid of something. How about we put this single torch in my offhand? I think that will work out nicely. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's more armadillos. Hi. Oh, so cute. I will uh I will come back for them eventually and I'll probably build them a little home, hopefully. I think that would be pretty cool. And yep, still don't have elytra. That's all right. <gasps> no way. Seriously already? Wait, that's so cool. How freaking lucky is that? That I found mangrove. Because I actually really want to build with mangrove. So that is pretty cool. But I also do want a lot of wool. So let's just kill these sheep too. I also want to get some mud because I definitely want to build with packed mud. So let's just collect a little bit of this. All right, let's just keep on walking and see if we find anything else that's fun. Mangroves are so hard to walk through. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine trying to go through a mangrove swamp on a horse. That just sounds like torture. Okay, seems like we're out, which is good because I really don't want to walk through mangrove swamp anymore. That looks like a jungle over there, which is also good because along with the packed mud, I also want to incorporate jungle wood in there and that would be super helpful if I could find that right now. Okay, it does look like we have at least one big jungle tree here. So I think I'm just gonna like cut down this one tree and then hope that, wow. Oh, and I can get bamboo for scaffolding. All I need to do is find some spiders, which ew, I do not like fighting mobs, but that's okay. <gasps> okay, I see a dark oak forest, which is really good so let's head on over that way and hopefully we can find a place to base <gasps> oh my gosh an azalea tree okay yep it's official i am gonna be basing right here yep this is it this azalea tree right here is telling me that i need to set up my base here Okay, I think my first order of business is setting up a chest or two so that I can finally get rid of this crazy inventory that I've got going on here. All right, we've got our little base camp set up here and I think I actually, well, I kind of wish I didn't throw out that cobblestone, but it looks like there's some cobblestone here. So I'm gonna go and mine some of that up and then we are gonna make a furnace and yeah, we're gonna get to clearing out this area so that I can start on building a house. Why do I feel like this little cove here would actually make such a great strip mining area? I don't know, I'm maybe afraid of the water a little bit here, but I feel like strip mining here could actually be pretty cool. So I don't know, maybe we will make some sort of like dock leading into strip mine. I just, ooh, wait, that would actually be really cool. Now I'm getting ideas and I like it. All right, I think what I need to do now is just kind of start clearing out these trees just to get a better idea of what exactly I want to do with this house. So I also need to just like scope out the area that I'm going to be building in. And I feel like the best way to do that is to just start clearing out some trees. So that is what we are going to do now. One eternity later. Risky enough, I kind of want to do a little bit of mining. Um, we all know how well mining goes for me in the early game when I don't have any um, armor. So I need to find easy access to iron. So I might try and go look for like a hill or something or like some sort of mountain that could have just like some easy iron access. So I think I might go and try that. But first, I'm gonna put away everything that I don't need right now. I am gonna make maybe like two more pickaxes here. 
just in case. And then we are gonna bring the furnace as well as the bed with me, just to make sure that uh, if I do find iron, I can smelt it up quick and then hopefully make some armor out of it because I think the first thing I'm gonna do besides a pickaxe is make armor <laughs> because armor is really important. But also before I start that, I kind of want to start on a little bit of a farm. So, hmm, I need to find like a good area to do that. I might just go like right here and just kind of carve this out a little bit and we'll plant the field somewhere along here. So we haven't really wandered too much this way, so let's go over here and just kind of take a look around the place and see what we can find. Okay, this is kind of a mountain hill thing, so let's see. I wonder if we can find any easy iron here. That doesn't look like there's iron. That might be promising though, so let's take a look at that and I'm gonna be a tree hopper real quick. Okay, I see some coal. But I don't really see that much iron at all, so, hmm. I will definitely get the coal, but I just, uh, I really want iron right now. And I don't want to go in the caves. Oh, that is a scary cave. I want no part in that right now. Let's see if there's anything in, oh god. Yep, there is. There is, in fact, something in here. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I, I'm so bad already. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we're gonna get him this time. No, we're not. Shoot. Oh no. Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, um. <laughs> oh god, this is why I don't go in caves. And I broke my bed. I broke my bed. Of course I broke my bed. Oh, hello. Well, thank goodness I didn't fall in that. It's times like these where I wish I based at spawn like I did last season, but it's okay. It's fine. I am gonna steal a villager bed just in case um, anything bad happens. I'm also gonna steal these crops in case I uh, need to eat. It seems like there's another village over here. Um, I'm pretty sure that all my stuff is gone, so do I just go check it out really quick? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get my stuff back because I think it respawns like after five minutes. And I don't know about you, but I think it's going to take me longer than five minutes to get there. So we are just going to head over here and see what's here. Okay, we got some bread. We got a book. I can take all this. I will take this crafting table because I don't have one right now and who knows, I might need one in the future. And I'll take these seed pickles because they're here and I want them. I'm also gonna take all these flower pots so that I don't have to make them myself later. And of course the hay bales so I can have more food. I, hmm, it's a little tempting to just like off that iron golem real quick and yeah, I don't know. It's kind of tempting. Just get some get some free iron. But knowing me, I'm gonna die. So I'm just gonna not take that chance. Also, there's so many cats here and I want them all, but I don't have fish and I don't have time to get fish because I really do need to get home. I really shouldn't be raiding this, but here I am raiding it. I do need to eat, so let me do that really quick. And I think I'm just gonna keep going. <gasps> Hi, frog! Oh, I really wish I could take him with, but I can't and I wanna get back home. It's okay, luckily this mangrove swamp isn't like too far from my base, so I'll be able to come back here and get stuff. I'm gonna grab these pumpkins because I'm pretty sure my stuff is already despawned, so I'm just gonna take my time and grab some stuff that I probably missed on the way here originally. All right, I see my big thing of sugarcane, which means we are pretty much home, thank goodness. Um, I, uh, I'm so upset. I'm so sad that I died that early on in the game with my stuff. Now, granted, I didn't have great stuff, I had stuff, you know? So I kind of just wish that didn't happen because I think I had all my cobblestone with me and I think that means 
I have to resort back to wooden tools, which is not cool. So yeah, that's all right. And let's go back to the trusty wooden pickaxe. I think since the 1.18 update, it's been known that iron is most likely to spawn, I guess, at Y level 16. So I think I'm gonna go and try that and see if I can find any iron just by strip mining. I'm currently at 64, so I will have to go down quite a bit, but luckily it's not as much as if I were to go to like negative 58 for diamonds. I think I would actually like to have my strip mine like right here when I eventually build it. So I'm just gonna build this out slightly. And then I guess the only thing really left to do is to just start digging down. So that is what I'm gonna do now. All right, well, lucky so far, we did find a little bit of iron. So that's at least good. What level am I at? I'm at 35 and I think I hear some spiders, which I don't think I like very much. Is this the lush cave? I think I'm about to break into the lush cave, which I don't know if I really like that much because I really want to do my iron strip mine. So I don't know. I mean, it definitely is the lush cave that I'm breaking into right now, but I don't think I like that because of the spider noises that I'm hearing right now. I'm also afraid that I'm gonna be underwater when I break through this and then drown. Okay, got some moss and we're breaking in. All right, um, I wanna go about this in the safest way possible. Okay, what if I just jump down and then build up really quick? I think that's the best plan. Okay, I think that's okay. Let's get just a little bit of this moss and ooh. Oh, now I'm tempted. No, I will come back with iron armor. I cannot do this right now. I will not do this right now. I am just going to block myself in completely. I do want to grab this little glowberry though. Let's continue to protect myself here. Okay, I say we keep going. Okay, so right here is level 16. So I think I'm just gonna start mining. I know. Hopefully, I can find some. And that is extremely lucky. Wow, all right. I did not end up bringing my furnace, I totally forgot, but I do have enough stone that if I do need to build a furnace, I can. Oh boy, scary cave. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I forgot a crafting table because I am definitely silly. So we're gonna go up here then we're gonna grab the other crafting table and we might as well just craft it while we're up there. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna come back down with my newly made armor. I'm probably not gonna have all the armor in the world, but I'm gonna have some and that's better than gold mending boots. So yeah, that is what we are gonna do. All right, now I think I'm definitely making a chest plate. I think I might as well make an iron pickaxe, please get out of the way, thank you. And how much do I have? Let's do, let's do the leggings, yep. Okay, now I'm at least a little bit more geared up, I feel like, so if I do happen to run into a cave, I think I'll be a lot better off. You know what? I'm gonna make an iron sword. Call me crazy, but I'm doing it. I am actually gonna leave my bed here because just like last time, if I run into bad guys, uh, I don't wanna spawn back at spawn. So we're gonna leave the bed there and we are gonna go on an adventure and it's raining, which honestly is fine with me because I'm gonna be underground. Okay, I think I'm gonna break into this cave. Hopefully it's not too scary, let me peek up here a little bit. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything bad. There is iron, which is good. So let's light this up a little bit, just a little. Okay, let's just get some of this iron quick. Hopefully nothing bad comes for me. Okay, luckily this is a dead end. So let's get the rest of this iron and then I think we're gonna go and explore the other side of the cave, which is really, really scary but I have some armor. 
so hopefully we'll be fine oh okay so we are now in deep slate level luckily there is some coal here isn't like deep slate coal ore like kind of rare that's kind of cool um i did forget all of my coal in my uh, blast furnace so we're gonna get some here because i did bring a regular furnace which is good but i am also out of torches so yeah that's really cool let's just ooh, do i use all my coal i'll probably find more so yeah i am gonna use all my coal and um i'm wondering if i continue down this deep slate way i don't know if i should because that's kind of screaming scary to me i don't know if i really want to do that yeah, I think we're gonna avoid that way. And I don't remember if there was another way to go, but we're gonna check. Okay, I think the next step is gonna be to go down here. It's it's eerily quiet and I don't really like that. Oh, I hear a skeleton though. Oh God, I wish I had a bow. I wish I had a bow so bad. Okay, I think that noise I heard is the dripstone dripping. Uh, for some reason to me, that really sounds like a skeleton noise. So I think we're okay right now, but I'm still really scared. Okay, that looks like it's the end of the cave. So I think I'm going to head up. I got a decent amount of iron, which I think could possibly be enough to get me a full set of iron tools as well as finish up my armor. So yeah, I think I'm going to head out because I have already had enough of caves today. What I think I'm going to do right now is build up a couple of fences so I can start getting some animals because I, especially sheep, because I need wool in order to build my house and I currently don't have any sheep so we are going to make a little enclosure for them. Probably, I don't know, let's make it just like over here somewhere. I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to get some cows, but if I just get sheep, that's okay. I do know that there are some sheep kind of in that direction over there. Yeah, you can see them right there. So yeah, I'm just going to build this little fence area and I actually, mm, I need a gate. I do not have a gate made. So we're going to probably put the gate like right here. All right. And now let's go and get our sheep. We got one here. Where is the other? There you are. Come here. Yep. Oh, look at that. A little bonus sheep. That's cool. And now let's just breed two of them up and we are good to go. Now, one thing I do want to do with the iron that I got is make a pair of shears. And luckily, all my iron has finished smelting. So I'm just going to make one pair of shears here. And now I think I'm going to try to finish the rest of my armor. So we got boots. We got a helmet and we have 29 pieces left over, which is really good. So I guess let's make our shovel and our ax. And already I feel so much safer. Like I feel like I could possibly conquer a cave now or any mob for that matter, <laughs> but definitely not before this. All right, now let's start shearing these sheep just, just a little bit. You know what? While I wait for these sheep to get their wool back, I'm actually going to start chopping down some birch trees because I also need birch wood. But since I love the pink leaves so much, I'm going to make sure that I get some saplings so that they can regrow. And I do also need oak wood, so I might as well start chopping those down too. I do want to make sure that I replant the trees at least because I think that this area being very foresty and tree heavy would look really good, especially for like a backdrop for my build. So I'm going to try to remember to replant as many trees as I can, but hopefully I can stick to that. So I'm actually swimming to a little birch area and oh my goodness i am kind of wishing that i based in a birch forest because this looks so pretty but no i needed to branch out and do something other than just strictly pink builds and so that's why i went with the dark oak forest because i feel like it'll make me branch out and start working with different color palettes other than pink but like this is just absolutely gorgeous with the leaf textures like i am so in love with that 
One thing I've really never understood is the birch hate. I personally, I think birch wood is really pretty. I don't really use like the birch planks or anything like that, but I think the actual wood makes for a really good, just like white block color to use. And I mean, especially with these textures, like the birch trees are honestly like one of my favorite trees. And I guess I just really don't understand what all the hype is around hating birch wood. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I am definitely not on that bandwagon. I think birch trees are really, really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep collecting a couple of materials that I need for my starter house, and then I will see you guys when I'm back. So let's queue up a little material gathering montage. So I've been sitting here for what feels like forever, literally just watching grass grow. I have been harvesting up my wheat for probably the last 30 to 45 minutes, all because I needed to make a bunch of packed mud. And uh, yeah, now that I have, I believe pretty much every single material that I'm gonna need, I am gonna start building. So I don't have replay mod because as far as I know, it has not been updated for 1.21. So I guess I am just gonna kind of do a little montage and probably walk you through a bit of the steps in what I'm doing. So the first thing is where do I want this build to start? Now I have this big hill here, so I probably should start it a little bit further back and maybe I'll make this the center point. And then this needs to be five wide. I think maybe I'll move it over just like one block. And now with a mix of birch logs and white wool, I think I'm gonna just start off by marking it with birch logs and then go in later and texture it. I need to go out seven. So one, two, six, seven. And now back with the stone bricks, I go out two and back nine. And then I repeat the same process on the other side and for the back. So this is what the general layout of my house is gonna look like. And just to get the stone out of my inventory because I don't need it after this, we are just gonna put in some stairs right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with these side walls here and build them up seven blocks. Like I said, I'm gonna start with birch wood and then go in and texture with the white wool just cause personally, I find that a bit easier than texturing as I go.
Okay, so now that the main structure of the build is done, I wanna start working on the details such as framing out this area here. And for this, we are just gonna do the classic Minecraft framing, which if you guys don't know, is just stairs and trap doors and then closing them up which just gives a little bit more of extra framing and shape to the build and over here i want to do some like stained glass window vibes so i'm gonna take all of this out and i think i'll go one higher and with the glass i have here we're just gonna start filling it in something kind of like that and now I'm gonna frame the outside of this window and then use trap doors on the top to kind of help frame it out a little more. And now it looks something like that, which I think is super cute. And now we've just gotta copy it over to the other side. Now for this window here, I wanna do something kind of similar, but also kind of different. And it's gonna be slightly bigger. I think this one is gonna be three by five, so. Okay, and now with this window, I wanna create some type of like tiny roof and then probably using some uh, fences to frame it out and then having like a tiny little windowsill type thing just made out of stairs and yeah we are just gonna try it out and see how it looks okay i like it but I feel like it's missing something. Should I like, should I take these and like, no, that covers, <gasps> okay, what if I do trapdoors and I just like stack them up like this? What does that look like? Okay, yeah, I think that'll do it. Okay, cool, much better. Now I just gotta copy it to the other side. So now that the windows on the front and the sides are done, I'm gonna copy these windows to the opposite sides back there. And then the windows that I did on these sides, I'm gonna put here on the back side. So let's head on over and get those done. Now I'm gonna just kind of go through these darker, I guess, brownish tan parts and just kind of texture them up a little bit. It's kind of hard to texture these here because it's just kind of one thing. So I might leave it like that or kind of adjust it up a little bit. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, I'm gonna go around and just kind of adjust stuff like this a little bit because it's just looking a little bit too uniform and I wanna change that. All right, I've got a couple decorations here to add onto the roof. So we are gonna pillar on up there and then start throwing these on. Thank you. 
All right, I think I got all of the decorations that I want to add in. So now the only thing I have left to do is to add in just a little bit of a path. I think I'm just going to make it go somewhere over here. I'm going to stop it right about here though for now so that I can be able to clear this out before finishing it. Alright, and now that I've got a pretty simple path going on, I am gonna, I think, hmm, I've been trying to figure out where I want my storage area to be, and I don't know, I think probably like one of these two sides I'm gonna do, I think that would probably be best. So let's just put the first chest here, and we're gonna pretend that this is the wood chest. And now we'll make another one, which will just be general, regular blocks until I have more to store. This one here, I will make nature. All right, and now let's just move everything else in. I did just realize that I am going to have to put in a floor, a layer up from where all the chests are. So uh, I'm going to have to redo those, but... I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I think the interior will be for another episode. And last but not least, let's move in the bed. This starter house is already twice, if not three times bigger than my starter house in my last series, which I really like because that means that I can stay in it for longer. But that is gonna be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next episode where we are gonna be doing a little bit of work over there by our new mine entrance. I hope to see you there and I will catch up with you guys later. Bye.